hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well so today i have received this uh, hp 840 g4 laptop motherboard and its uh, condition is no power and now i will try to fix this motherboard and i will show you how to check step by step all the repair voltage and how to repair this kind of motherboard so let's try to fix so, it uh, as you can see this is the motherboard part number 6050828 mb a01 so now i will uh, first i will check impedance on this motherboard if there is any short circuit so uh, first i will check this mosfet here as you can see here okay uh, let me show you first set my multimeter in buzz beep mode and i put this ground and touch here this mosfet okay as you can see there is no value or no beeps that means there is no short then i need I will check this current sensing resistor here okay here also clear so this uh, main line is clear I mean 19 volt line is clear now I will check 3 volt and 5 volt impedance the for that I need to uh, set my multimeter in diode range and red probe is ground and black probe just touch here this is 3 volt line it's uh, 3 to 7 it's okay there is no short uh, this line also clear now I will check the secondary side this is a 3 volt secondary side here okay no shorts no shorts this is a 5 volt secondary IC here okay this line also clear there is no short so now I first I will uh, disconnect this CMOS battery and then I will so now I will connect this power supply to this motherboard and if there is no problem there is no everything is okay then this motherboard will turn on so connect this so as you can see my power supply is uh, taking 0.28 amps but it's not turning on so if I press the power button here, it's not response. As you can see, if I check this switching bolt here, 2.3, uh, it's good enough. And if I press the power button, it's working, but it's not turning on. It should turn on after uh, remove this CMOS battery now I will check all the required voltage is present or not so I set my multimeter in DC mode and I will first check this MOSFET here okay as you can see here 19 volt is present here if I check this gate voltage 24 it's okay because this is in channel MOSFET now I'll check uh, this uh, current sensing register here okay as you can see 19 volt is clear so now I will check 3 volt and 5 volt power rail. So this is 3 volt. First I will check this 3 volt line. Okay. This voltage is always voltage. So here 3 volt is not available here. Uh, if I check this 5 volt. Okay. We have 5 volt. 5 volt is available. So now I will check this area because 5 volt is okay. 3 volt is not present so I need to check this IC first so first I will check this IC enable voltage so I will check this under my microscope so as you can see this clear so this is 3 volt IC regulator IC and uh, pin number pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 is enable for this I see as you can see it's 2.290 it's should be 3 volt so this enable voltage come through this resistor here as you can see if I check here is LDO 3.3 volt is present if I check other side of this IC 
it's 2.3 sorry it's a resistor it's 2.3 here also 2.3 2.2 and we got here 2.2 mm. this uh, enable voltage also come here so for enable this 5 volt so if I check here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so if I check here so we have 2.29 so this voltage can enable this IC so we have 5 volt so this 2 point something voltage this is 2.2 volt is enough for enable this IC but it's not enable and we also check this uh, impedance is okay there is no short so i guess this ic is bad so now i will uh, replace this ic from my donor board and then i will check this 3 volt is okay or not so let's replace this ic Okay, this is uh, my donor board, and I have a good IC here. This is a 3 volt regulator IC, and this IC is completely okay. Cool down. Ready. Mm -hmm. So now I will connect my power supply again. And as you can see, it's uh, turning on. It's turning on. This power LED is glowing. So it's turning on. And if I check this. Uh, Enable. Okay, you can see it's 2.3 volt. It's enough, and we have 3.3 volt now. And this motherboard is completely okay. So now I will check the display is okay or not. this laptop is turned on itself because the CMOS battery is not connected with this motherboard and it's taking ampere it's okay good so we need to wait for a few seconds because the RTC it's reset for CMOS battery so we have HP logo and we have display 
so this laptop is completely okay now so you can see how easy to fix this kind of motherboard if you follow my step how i check motherboard step by step if you are new in my channel so hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much so viewers after a jara bangladesh theke amader video gulo dekhe thaken tara jodi apnader laptop ti service korte chan shob khub shohoje amader service center chole aste paren khub kom khoroje instant bangladesh ti service pete वीडियो ते देख लेना अपना रहा कतो शाहज भावे आम्रा एक टीम अप ट्राईसी चेंज करे लैपटॉप टी आ रेडी करना आ जेटा है तो बार अनप्रोफेशनल कारों के साथ अपना लैपटॉप टी नहीं खेले तार है तो बार प्रॉब्लम टी बुस्टे ना पे ऑने टेही डैमेज करे फिर तो जेटा रिको भाई कोरटा शुन ऑने टा कॉस्टो शब्द 